Welcome back to another, um, The Art of 99, episode number 2. So, I hope all of you guys are doing wonderful. I really am. Today is going to be a fantastic video series. Not even series. This is already a series. This is, this, this is going to be a fantastic video. The reason why is because I have some stories to tell. Not very good stories. Not very good ones at all. I have one story to tell you, and it's a RuneScape story. Another story is a scary story. Ooh, scary. And the third story is involving another RuneScape story. So buckle your RuneScape belts in, put on your skill capes if you have any, because this video is gonna be wild. I'm gonna be venting a little bit, not even venting, that's not the right word. I'm gonna be exposing myself a little bit when it comes to RuneScape. Expos exposing my darkest secrets. Things I have told no one, only but few. The story of the man who dated me as a middle schooler, and I thought he was a girl. So basically, this guy pretended to be a girl. The, dura the duration of two or three months of me being in seventh grade. I met this man back in 2007, RuneScape, what is as what you people call RuneScape 3 nowadays. Um, he approached me in the Grand Exchange on my main account on RuneScape 3, and I thought this person was a legit female. As a kid, you never really, you never really know these things though, because as a kid, we're kind of fucking dumb fucks. We don't really think things rationally. As a, as a dumb kid, I fell for a lot of stupid shit. And this is one of those stupid shit that I fell into. Uh, this guy named himself Blue Girl something. Uh, was like flirting with people on the Grand Exchange. Not those typical female characters in RuneScape that go on the Grand Exchange to flirt for money. Uh, but those guys are those female accounts who are uh, just acting weird. Like, I've seen female accounts on RuneScape and I guarantee you guys, they're just... Or they could be girls, I could be mistaken. To me, you know, ever since this incident, I automatically assume the guys. You can never trust the internet. I've seen so many catfish episodes. Doesn't end well. Does not end well. But continuing with my story, this dude guess that I was cool. Me being, you know, middle school, middle school and all. I don't even think I ever hit me telling him I was in middle school. I really don't remember. And if I did, it really looks bad on him. Because that makes him look like a pedophile. If he was of older age, which I am guessing he was. But that's my, I guess, assumption. But anyways, he uh, told me I look cute and all this crap. And I was like, oh thanks, you look cute too. Cause you know, I'm, I'm, in the, I'm a kid. You know, I'm fucking, uh, when I was in middle school, I had problems, you know. I, I was handling rejection with women. Not well. I thought I was the ugliest man alive. Just because of this one girl in middle school, rejected me like 12 times, and she was an Asian chick. Love Asians. 
as you can tell from my name, even though it's not Asian. But you know. Um, this guy, sorry, I'm getting a little distracted here because uh, I'm trying to remember what happened. Not distracted, I'm just trying to remember what happened to this, to this, like, what happened in the story. Because it was so long ago. But anyways, I'm gonna try to remember as much as I can. He, uh... He was... Pretending to be this girl for so, so long. And he had me fooled. He really did. I, I, he had me so convinced. Like, I really thought it was a girl. I would even go to school to my best friend's dude. I have a girlfriend. And they'd be like, why you don't have a girlfriend? And I'd be like, hell, hell yeah, dude. Now, uh, what's her name? Uh, and that's the tricky part. I'd be like, I don't want to tell on a fucking dating a RuneScape chick. So I just said, uh, her name is uh, Anne. And they're like, Anne? Anne what? I was like, an invisible. And they were like, an invisible? <laughs> and I started cracking up because they didn't really get it. And I don't know if they didn't get it because I'm just being stupid and it was a stupid joke. But I told yeah, an invisible girlfriend, you knuckleheads. <laughs> and they started cracking up and they just forgot that I just said I had a girlfriend and just assumed that I was just playing around with them because of the joke. So that didn't answer well. And uh yeah, three months later of him tricking me that we're dating and he's a girl. Tells me at Verox Square, next to the general store, it's basically saying, and here's what I would picture he would, be, he would be saying to me if we were on Discord chat. Oh, I just wanted to let you know that uh, I'm actually a dude, and uh, yeah, I feel really bad, so uh. I'm sorry for leading you on, and, uh, yeah, let's just forget this ever happened, let's never talk again, let's delete each other, and, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, dude, and I was just like, what? Like, my whole, like, life just crushed before my eyes, like, my heart sank to my ball sack, and I was just like, no. My, this can't be happening. I I fooled myself. He fooled me. I feel like amongst I feel like an amongst us game was happening for those couple months in RuneScape. He was the imposter, and I was the goddamn crewmate, fitting through his bullshit. So I was crushed. I cannot believe. That all the stories that I've been warned of all these RuneScape girlfriends turning out to be fucking guys happens to me. I was like, yo, lesson learned. Deadass. I told myself that in middle school. Lesson learned. At least I knew that much. So, the first RuneScape girlfriend, and you guaranteed the last motherfucking RuneScape girlfriend I had. <laughs> not a good year for me. But I thought that was super embarrassing. And I would keep that a dark secret when it comes to the RuneScape community. But I had to spill the beans because I thought it was a fucking hilarious story now that I'm older. And that I fell for shit like that. Petty shit like that. And then I even fell for other stuff like I fell for a lot of lures. I fell in for a lot I fall in for a lot of uh, scams. Oh my god, I don't even want to tell you the things that I have done, guys. The, okay, uh, the second story. That's the first story. Over with. The second story. I'm gonna leave the scary, the scary story to the end. Um, second story. And 2008 RuneScape. Not too long after this incident with the girl. I believe 
I was helping my best friend's cousin level up his account and I got a little uh, <laughs> I got a little money hungry let's just say he had a lot of money at that time and I was a kid and I keep saying that I'm a kid I'm a kid yes I'm that I'm gonna use that as my excuse for all these fucking stupid stories that happened to me in the past I am a fucking kid all right we all do stupid shit I'm not gonna keep repeating that. We all do stupid shit. I'm not gonna keep repeating that. We all do stupid shit. Anyways. <laughs> uh, I was trading his account and uh, I saw a shit ton of money in his account. I think I saw like up to 40 mil. And I was like, yo, this is fucking insane. 40 mil? Are you kidding me? I've never made that much. If anything, I've never made more than 500k back in that day. Shit, probably even not more than 400k. Uh, so what I would do is multi-log, obviously, sign him in, have my other account in, meet up at the Grand Exchange in Lumbridge, and trade me and trade myself, not the whole cash stack, obviously, that would be too, too uh, su sussy, suspecty. So, I had myself, trade myself from my other account, uh, like 8 mil or something within those lines. I gave myself a good amount of money. And uh, I took it, and the next day, I did the same thing. I was like, you know what, I think I should take another 8 mil. So I did. So then I had 16 mil. And I don't know how much dragon plate bodies were, but... I don't know if I took another couple mil after that, but I, was, I decided at that moment, I was like, you know what, I might as well buy myself a dragon plate body. We're using his money. <laughs> so I guess you can say I kind of hacked him, but I didn't hack him because I had his, his password. He gave me his password. He tr I guess he shouldn't have trusted me because I'm his friend's... I'm his... his I'm his, he's my, he's my friend's cousin, so, yeah, he shouldn't have trusted me, but I shouldn't have taken his money, that was my fault, I couldn't help myself, saw all that fucking money, the money was green, I've never seen green coin stack before, shit blew my mind, couldn't help it, couldn't help it, but that's not the story. I get this money that I took from my friend's cousin's account, and I bought the plate body. Or so I thought. Now listen, I don't know what was going on in my head, or what I was seeing, or if I was too fucking excited that I had so much money on me, and I was gonna buy a dragon plate body, that uh, I wasn't paying attention, I guess. So when I looked up red, uh, I looked up red something, set I think, or something like that, and I clicked on the dragon plate body set, I think. So I, okay, I clicked on the dragon plate body set, bought it, with no hesitation, didn't even look at the price. I just upped the price, thinking it was, I think it was cheaper than what I would expect it to, but it was still up there. Um, all the money, half the money was gone. Oh, and let me remind you, I forgot, I forgot this, this just unlocked in my memory. I didn't buy this from the Grand Exchange, mind you. I remember seeing this guy in the Grand Exchange. And members world saying oh I'm um, selling dragon plate body cheap uh, dragon plate body set cheap five mil cheaper than the uh, GE price so me fucking middle school me was like oh yo this is this is lit I'll take this offer I trade with them he was high level so I trusted him just because he was high level I was like why, is, why would he scam me I trade with them he puts in the set, and I don't know if 
RuneScape was different back in the day, because if you decline the trade, or if you take out something from the trade, an exclamation mark pops up. A big one, and it blinks. So you can't really miss, like, seeing it. But I don't remember me seeing it. But either way, or I don't even know if he even took it out. Either way, I saw the box. When you buy sets, if you don't know RuneScape, if you buy a set of armor, it comes in a box. Depending on what the armor is, and what color it is, it'll show. So if it's bronze, it'll be brown. If it's rune, it'll be light blue. If it's mithra, it'll be dark blue, whatever the fuck color it is. So the dragon was red. I saw red, and I saw the box. And I just said, fuck it, this is hella worth. I didn't even read the description of the, the, the item he was selling to me. I just saw red in the box. So I was like, hell yeah. Put the money in my trade bar. He obviously had his thing up already. And we traded. As soon as he trades, he logs out. And I'm thinking to myself, why did he just log out? I already been scanned so many times. And RuneScape as back in those days where I, I knew a scam logout when I see one and that was a scam logout. So I was I I, I immediate, immediately expected uh, expected something like I, I there was just something off off the bat. So I was like nah let me see. I looked at the box that I the set that I bought from this dude that f f was the dragon plate body set Cheap, five mil cheaper. It was a goddamn red D height set. A red D height set. Now, you guys want to check how much that is? It might have been different. It might have been different price back in the day. But let's just see how much it is on old school RuneScape. This is this is twelve thousand GP. I think I traded the man like 10 mil. So yeah. I think I lost a shit ton of money from my dumbass not paying attention and reading and checking my fucking trades. Off of a sketchy dude in the corner of GE, all coked out, fucking have the sweats. The dude had the sweats. He had fucking points like like stuff in his arms he didn't look he didn't look like a clean man but you know I saw that deal he said five mil five mil off I can't help it I said nah fuck the suspicion it's all about that deal and guess what I paid the price lost fucking money not only that I bought a set that was way under under underpaid no, overpaid, sorry. I overpaid for that bitch. Over overpaid for sure. And I can't even wear it. Because I didn't have enough uh, range at that time for that account. I think it was like 40 range I had. So, I was so fucking pissed. So mad. Not only that, I costed my friend, goddamn 10, my friend's cousin 10 mil. I can't even get it back from. My plan was to buy the, the dragon plate body and to just wear it. And to just fashion scape, dude. Not even fucking skill with it. Just fashion scape at the Grand Exchange or World 1. And sh fucking show off to the scrubs. And I love scrubs. I love new scrubs. I love noobs. Hey, we all start off from somewhere. I'm not hating on scrubs. I just like showing off. Whether you're a scrub or not. I just like showing off. And what's better to show off to? Scrubs or experienced players? Goddamn scrubs! <laughs> but yeah, that's my second intro story. No fucking bullshit one. That's for sure. <sighs> alright, alright. Uh, I need to get myself on. I think I learned like three, four times doing this session. 35 feeding. Let's go. Alright, third story. Which is basically my the haunting hour. It's the haunting hour now, ladies and gentlemen. Get your hot cocoa ready. Bring up the campfire. T 
turn on the Friday the 13th music. And let's get some spooks in. Let's get some spooks in. Alright. I saw a fucking ghost. Nah, I'm joking. But, I did experience something paranormal-like. So, let me uh, give you guys a little detail of where I, uh, like, the place I live at. It's foresty. And creaky. I mean, creaky, not like my house is creaky and old and shit. My house is old, but it's not, it doesn't creak. Like, wooden. Like wood shit. That was creepy. I mean creaky like we have creeks. A lot of creeks. And woods and homeless people living in those woods. But either way, we've got scary woods. That's besides the point. I'm just giving you guys the scenery to give you guys that mindset. I'm in, I'm in the scary woods. I live in the woods. Now, let's go farther. It was one night, a couple months ago, on a week. I was thinking it was a weekend night. One of my uh, brother, not one of my brothers. Sorry, I'm gonna distract you because the sergeant asshole is her. Um, my brother was out of town, went to LA. My mom was gone for the night, I believe, till later. But, uh, and she told me, but I think, uh, I forgot, not that I forgot, I just thought she was going to be home sooner, but, but that, that's, that's just, that's just me trying to remember when, or what time she told me she was going to be home, okay, sorry, I'm just thinking, um, okay, I was home, I came home, I was out all day, around six o'clock ish I go in my room I do my normal routine I turn on my PC load up my goddamn runescape and uh, I close my door we have three bed uh, three to four bedroom house I only see three to four bedroom house because the fourth room is like a storage room slash room so you can't sleep in there but it's storage for now basically it's basically a storage, but it's room. But anyways, it's right next to my room. Uh, I have a cat and I have one dog. And I also have ashes of my old dog in my living room. So I don't know if that's why uh, this has this had happened, this situation. But um, I was in my room, like I said, turning my PC, blah, blah, blah. Did my routine, turn my runescape. I hear... Uh, you're talking like very silent talking coming from one of my walls and this was like an hour and a half later of me being settled in from where I came from the real world and I was thinking to myself huh is this YouTube is my do I have YouTube playing in the background is my TV on because I have the TV next to me with my headphones on but I don't know if I had the TV on behind me with my Xbox playing. Sometimes I have it on. I majority have it on, but I don't know if I had the, the volume that like mute or if it was actually on loud. But for some reason I was chill until I heard some noises coming from the walls or somewhere. I thought it was my computer again, so I mute the, the, the music volume. I muted the music volume, and that's when I took off my headphones, or I took off my headphones, and I heard the faint whispers of someone watching TV or something, or like a movie. So I'm like, what the hell? Uh huh, it must be my brother? He must have came home, I didn't hear the door open. So I'm like, it's possible he, I could have, he could have came in, I didn't hear it, I'm just too invested in the game, game is loud. And, uh, so I thought nothing of it. Put my headphones back on. Ten minutes later, I hear a door open. From my front door open to get in the house. And I hear it shut. 
So I'm like thinking, okay, someone is home. It's my brother and my mom. It was a Sunday. So my brother was bound to come home that night. Uh, so I thought nothing of it. I was like, okay, chill. Keep playing. Then I heard more talking. Like more talking, it got a little louder from the, the same wall. The walls down next to me. Coming from my brother's room. Man, what the fuck? Like, why is my brother playing fucking TV so loud? It's late. It's getting like 9 o'clock now. 8 o'clock. So I go check in his room. The lights are off. The TV's off. No one's in there. Man, what the fuck? Close the door. And my mom's light is on too. And I noticed her light was on too when I, when I opened the door. That was at least my concern because I want to know why my uh, my brother's why my brother's two was so loud. But he wasn't even there. So that's when I was like, why is my mom's light on too? Is she here too? So I knocked on the door, my mom's door. Nothing. Mute. Knocked again. Mute. Hello, mom. You there? You home? Nothing. So I'm thinking to myself, what the fuck, dude? I was home all day. My mom left in the afternoon. I didn't see her. I've been coming kind of in and out uh, when I, before uh, after I got home. I didn't see her light on. Uh huh. Maybe she came. Maybe she came home. Ten minutes of me while I was playing in my room. I stayed in here. And she turned around and she forgot to leave. She got dressed and left wherever she went. Okay, that's probably a rational idea. Uh, so I go in the kitchen, get some water, go back in my room. My dog is barking. Barking loud. I look in my window. And, uh, she's barking at, we have a shed in the backyard. She's barking at the shed. It's like a little tiny shed in the middle of our backyard. And that shed is kind of creepy because our old dog died there. And she died from suspicious activity, as in she died from unknown causes. Uh, the veterinarian said that she might have been poisoned by something. Maybe a medicine that the veterinarians gave her or something. He, the vets were so confused why or how she died. They still don't know why. But they said that there's something in her bloodstream that was poisonous. So she had foam coming out of her mouth. It was, it was a sad day. I, I, I was sad. Very sad. And uh, my dog was barking at the shit. I'm like, what the hell? Huh. So I told her, hey, stop. Sky, stop it. Her name is Sky. So she's a husky. I told her, Sky, stop. She kept barking, did not listen to me. So I yelled at her again, Sky, stop. She looked at me, looked back to the, looked back to the shed, looked, uh, looked back at me, and then ran to me to the window, like nervous like. And she jumped up in the window, and I petted her, and I said, It's okay, girl, just relax. Stay here. So she did, she stayed there, and she sat next to my window outside and laid there. And I'm like, What the hell? Why is she working at the shed? And would you have problems with skunks? I, I, it could be a skunk in the shed. So that could be it, but I don't know, man. It was weird. So that happened. Closed my window. And then, um, I called my mom. And I'm like, Mom, did you leave the uh, light on in the room? Did you come home? And she's like, No, I haven't been home since afternoon. I'm like, What? Really? She's like, yeah. I'm like, because your light's on. She's like, my light's on? Really? I'm like, yeah. I thought you came home and, and uh, turned it on and got dressed. She's like, uh, no. I'm like, what? what the fuck? Okay. So I open my door. The light's off. I'm like, what the hell's going on here? What the fuck is this? 
I mean, someone pulling a prank on me? Like, what, is there a fucking ghost looking and trying to fuck with my head? So I told my mom, mom, I literally just want to go check right now and your light's off. So as, as soon as like, I told you, to, I'm gonna go check. It's off. And she's like, Jonathan, stop lying. It's, it, it was never on. I'm like, I'm, mom, I'm being serious, it was on, like, not too long ago before I called. And Sky was being weird. So I don't know if there's someone in the house. I don't know if someone broke into the house or or something, but I swear to God, and I heard noises coming from Sebastian's my, my brother's room. So um, it was very very bad for me at that time because I, I love horror movies, so I knew what was going on. So the man, either some ghost shit is happening or oh, someone broke in my house. <laughs> But yeah, that was basically it. Mom came home an hour later, and yeah, she tested the lights. She kept them off and on, and yeah, they were working fine. So I don't know. It was weird. The dog thing was weird. The voices in my brother's room was weird. Everything was weird. That's it, guys. That's the third story. That's one of the one of the supernatural experiences I've been into. And I, I have a couple more, but that's for another RuneScape video. That's for another Art of 99 video. Number 2 has been completed. I thank you guys for watching my RuneScape videos. And as always, subscribe, like my video, and leave the notification bell to see my videos. First, then others. I will see you guys later. Until then, peace off.